Hello folks, welcome to my portfolio video showcasing my major contribution from architecture design to implementation of external call switch operations in Bogan's analog station bridge or ASB in short. Uh, it's a VoIP based intercom module. Now a quick overview of equipment and wiring used in this demo. We have an ASP which is center of focus where the work was performed. Digital call switch controls, analog call switch, a speaker, IP phone and a laptop not shown in the video for operations and provisioning purposes. The ASB is an intercom switch and an audio amplifier with 24 analog audio ports. Each port has a wiring point for a speaker and an analog switch control. These ports are independently addressable and associated to an intercom extension number. Also, there is a CAN bus port for interfacing with digital call switches, which I will be demonstrating shortly. The equipment wiring for this demo consists of ASB, IP phone and laptop connected over an IP network. The digital call switches, which I have four of them, basically daisy chained. To a CAN bus port, speaker and analog switch wired to an analog port on the ASB. The demo will showcase discovering, provisioning and operation of external switch controls to the ASB for handling intercom call operations. I have powered up the equipment and connected all the wires except for the CAN bus wire to demo discovery of switches attached on the CAN bus. I have provisioned intercom extensions from 201 to 224 for the 24 ports present on the back of the ASB using an administrative console. And since each port's calling control can further be restricted by the administrator, I have provisioned the first 22 ports as allowing both digital and analog switches. The 23rd port as allowing only analog switches while the 24th port as not allowing any calling control. The association of digital switches on the CAN bus to one of the 24 ports with an assigned intercom extension is performed using a web-based user provisioning process. As you can see through the web interface, there are currently no switches discovered by the ASB. Also, it is to be noted that the last two ports, the port number 23 and port number 24, have not been provided for assignment. As if you recall, previously we had provisioned them to be analog only and not allowing calling type of ports. Now we are going to connect the CAN bus wiring to the ASB. The attached switches appear on the web interface with their serial numbers after being discovered. We can now assign single or multiple switches to a port. The completion of discovery and provisioning process is visually confirmed by a solid LED state as seen. To demo the operation, I am going to initiate an intercom call to an office administrator's phone that I provisioned earlier using these switches and observe the behavior. It can be observed that the LED changes call state from finished. call ringing to call confirmed back to idle. Moreover, multiple switches attached to second port 
work in unison. Call placed. Same operation can also be performed using analog type switch that is not attached to the CAN bus while keeping the associated CAN bus controls in sync. Call placed. Other operational use cases of digital call switch include emergency calling. Emergency call placed. Emergency call placed. Escalation to emergency while a normal call is not getting answered. Call placed. Emergency call placed. Call placed. Emergency call placed. Mute or privacy. Auto unmute on call initiation. Call placed. Also, as we provision disabling of calling from a port. So, if you remember, we had provisioned the last port to be to disable calling feature. From the web provisioning, you have already noticed that we cannot assign the digital switches to the last port, but an analog switch, since it's a physical connection, can still be connected, but it cannot initiate any calls. Although the calls can be received by the port, we have a speaker connected to the port, which is 224 extension. So making a call to 224 extension. These are some of the additional operational features that were incorporated. A simpler use case of digital call switch operation relates to a single IP speaker, the provisioning process of which is as easy as connecting the wiring to the CAN bus port for auto initialization, discovery and provisioning of the call switches. This concludes the video presentation showcasing the work with digital and analog call controls on Bogan products. You can get in touch with me for questions and comments by emailing to subscribeamit at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.